hello angels and welcome back to my channel it is ray natural here and i am back with another video to help you live your blessed life in the most frugal way possible today's content is crafted for the natural mommy and you if you want to see how i do baby savvy's natural hair wash day keep watching Okay, so let's get right into this content. My daughter, Baby Savvy, is 15 months old. So we just started to get into a routine, you guys. But I do want to let you all know how I wash her hair with no chemicals. This is my normal wash day routine for her. What you see here is just a normal week old hairstyle that I have in her hair. Um, she actually had a pool day this week, so I definitely want to wash her hair and get all of the chlorine out of her hair and any type of buildup that has gathered around her rubber bands out of her hair. So I'm going to show you all how I do that. So, as you will see in the next clip, this is my forever assistant, y'all. As you can see in this clip, I am taking down the rubber bands, breaking the ones that tangle, and saving the ones I can. You can see the buildup that has gathered around her rubber bands. It's mostly lint, I assume, and probably a bit of product buildup. Not much, though. Her hair stays fairly clean, so I am happy about that. But I just start by taking down her hair, and then I go in with my bentonite clay. If you have not watched my bentonite clay, video you need to check that out this is what i use in my hair i don't use any shampoo in my hair so of course i'm going to be doing the same with my daughter's hair i just find it to be very effective and just all natural and it just helps my hair thrive so i go in with water first just spraying her hair with water and then i'm going to be applying the bentonite clay sort of like how when we used to get perms back in the day sort of how you would apply a perm to your hair to get it straight you want to just go in like at the scalp first on your roots and then once you get all your roots laid down you go back in from the ends of your hair so that's how I apply the bits of my clay to her hair and I don't do this in the bath I just do this with my spray bottle and go in like that Okay, so once I've covered pretty much every single strand with the clay, I just go in and massage her scalp. This is a very important step for hair growth. I'm not really worried about her hair growth right now, just because the texture of her hair is so different from mine that I am just not worried about it growing at all. But uh, stimulating her scalp with my fingertips is what I do with the bentonite clay on her hair. So I definitely recommend it if you really want to see growth on your little one's head
So here I then want to let the bentonite clay penetrate her strands of her hair. So I do use a plastic bag. I was definitely reluctant to do this for a while, but after like some training, um, we got good with the plastic bag and her not taking it off her head. So um, I would suggest at least leaving it on for 30 minutes. But since I'm a mom, I usually leave it on longer than that. And sometimes I'll put her bonnet on and leave it on overnight. But um, this time we just left it on for like an hour and a half. So I just put it on there. And this clip here of me washing the bentonite clay out is in real time. Just so you can see what it would be like if you decide to put this in your little one's hair. Baby Savvy is still getting used to like washing out or washing in the sink so it was a little struggle and even then it just didn't take so long so given the density and length of her hair you can pretty much estimate i mean in the age too that's very important you can pretty much estimate for yourself how long this process would take you so i definitely wanted to do this in real time me applying the bentonite clay to her hair took longer then rinsing it out so that is something that you will want to keep in mind Okay, so after the struggle is finally over, I have a close-up for you all just so you can see her scalp and see how clean it looks and how it's just like having her curls popping after that wash. So I definitely, definitely recommend using bentonite clay if you've never used it. We do this once a week. This is our wash day routine. It's mine as well as hers. So definitely look into it, learn more about it, and yeah get them curls popping and the final step here um of my wash day usually for baby savvy ends with a deep conditioner i don't use any type of products i mean yet on her hair i try to keep my deep conditioners for her hair fairly simple so if i don't blend something together i'm using some type of oil so this week i used coconut oil just to show you all how simple a wash they can be and you do not have to be so um i don't even know the word extra with it okay because her hair is still you know growing it's finding its natural curl i don't want to disturb it in any way so i haven't committed to using any products in her hair as far as wash day but i use, do i do use products throughout the week and i probably will make another video about that in the future but this is just our wash day and it's so simple so i do go ahead and apply the plastic bag again just to let the deep conditioner i choose i let it sit and penetrate and sometimes i decide to wash it out but when it's an oil i'll just let it sit for like a leave-in as well until the next time her hair gets wet or i wash it out so that is pretty much our wash day i do want to thank you all for watching this is pretty different for me but i do plan to do more mommy natural hair videos in the future so if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumb up and go ahead and subscribe to my video for no more content like this and thanks so much for watching and i pray you all continue to live your blessed lives be blessed